a professional firmware 2024. Let's see how to download and install in our Ender 3 v2. If you haven't seen my previous video on professional firmware, be sure to check it out for a deeper dive into its features. Before we begin, if you don't know about your motherboard version, let's identify it. Open the bottom panel of Ender 3 v2 and locate the version printed on the motherboard. Take a picture or note it down for reference. Downloading the firmware. Head over to the website link in the description. Scroll down a bit and click here on our latest release. Scroll down to Assets section. Here, you will choose the appropriate firmware based on your motherboard version. Also make sure bed leveling and manual mesh. If you have a 4.2.7 motherboard with auto bed leveling, choose this firmware. In this video, we will be using firmware 4.2.2 motherboard with auto bed leveling. Preparing the SD card. Remove the SD card from our Ender 3 v2 and insert it into your computer. Backup your existing files. Then format the SD card to ensure a clean slate. Copy the downloaded firmware file onto the SD card. Make sure this is the only file present. Safely remove the SD card from your computer and insert it back into your Ender 3 v2. Turn on the printer and wait for a few seconds. The firmware installation might take a few minutes, so be patient. Once the printer boots up successfully, the professional firmware is installed. Upgrading the display firmware. Now let's upgrade the display firmware. Head back to the main firmware download page and click on a display asset folder. In this case, choose the appropriate display firmware based on your screen type. We will assume you have a stock Ender 3 v2 screen, same as mine. Download the zip file, extract it and format the SD card again or delete the files from SD card to make it clean. Again, copy the extracted set folder onto the SD card. Turn off the printer, remove the display and unplug the main cable which is connected to the printer. Use the four screws to open the back panel of the display. Locate the micro SD card slot and insert the SD card. Reconnect the cable and turn on the printer. The screen might turn blue initially, then switch to red. This signifies successful display firmware installation. Turn off the printer again, disconnect the cable, reattach the back panel with the screws, and finally power on the printer. Voila, you should now have a beautiful upgraded display alongside with the professional firmware. For more detailed look at the firmware's features, check out my other video. Thanks for watching. Happy printing.